Hello and welcome to another declutter in my 12 days of declutters. I think according to my schedule, this is supposed to be day six, but I don't promise that I'm gonna stick to my own schedule. So there's that. we are doing face palettes and by face palettes what i mean is everything that i could find as quickly as possible that is two or more products so it could be two blushes it could be three highlighters it could be a blush and a highlighter this actually should not be in here because that's just one bronzer basically anything that has more than one product that i could find and i've mentioned this disclaimer before but i am doing this not only to look at my collection and remind myself of what I have so that I can plan out my makeup usage for this upcoming year, my basket of dooms. I'm also doing this to kind of clean and declutter my life and my mind. So there may be a few things that are missing from here, new products that are like in my baskets of shame. I was not going to go through my entire makeup collection and my entire apartment and spend hours digging all this stuff up because then I would get discouraged and not get this done so i apologize if there's one or two things missing but this is the bulk of what i have in my face palettes collection second disclaimer i'm not sure how much of this i'm gonna get rid of because as i was pulling them out a lot of these were either sentimental or things that i still use or things that i still would like to use so i don't promise a very large declutter let's consider this more of a collection video if i get rid of anything that will be amazing and other than that before we get started if you're new to my channel hi my name is natalia i'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty and 2023 was a year that i set a goal to rediscover my collection figure out what i'm actually using and what i'm not i started off really strong life took over i had to leave youtube for a few months and now i'm back and continuing on the same journey i would like to really get to know everything that i have before i start bringing a lot of new things in and i'm hoping that through getting to know the products I already have, I will also learn a bit more about my own preferences, what kind of formulas I like, what kind of textures, and this way when I buy products in the future, I will be more critical and kind of more strategic in my purchases. I hope that makes sense. If you're interested in declutters, I have lots more coming up. We're about halfway there if I'm again going according to schedule. So please do consider subscribing and joining us here and let's get through this pie. Let's talk about this gorgeous NARS Stephen Klein palette. This, if I remember correctly, is a blush palette. Well, blush and bronzer. And I guess this is supposed to be a setting powder. For me, that looks like it would be too dark to be a setting powder. I haven't used this in a while. I used to use and love this when it first came out. I thought it was just the most stunning palette ever. It is just so couture to me it just screams art and runway and editorial and i don't think i can let go of this palette even though i have the laguna bronzer uh in two other forms and even though i have tons of single blush and that does seem to be what i reach for more what i do like about this and what i've noticed with face palettes for me is i actually enjoy face palettes that are kind of all-inclusive meaning like I can do all of my face products with one palette. So I'm not one who's been using a lot of like blush only palettes or bronzer only or highlighter only. I kind of do like a combination of products because it makes it easy for me to use. This is of course missing a highlighter, but I feel like I could still see myself use this. And I don't know, I just don't think I can let this go because of the packaging. It's just so luxe and so incredible it's so sturdy it's held up so well i mean it needs a good clean but that's on me yeah no i'm keeping this i'm definitely keeping this another one that i love the packaging of oh sorry it must be so reflective to you okay let me open this not that this is going to be any better is this becca what was this called apri ski i think yeah apri ski glow face palette this has three highlighters according to the label two blushes and one bronzer 
I'm not sure though, honestly, that I can use it that way. If I remember correctly for me, this was definitely a blush as they said. This, which they consider a blush, would look crazy on me. I think on a dark skin person, this would be gorgeous, but on me, this would look insane. This is supposed to be a bronzer, which I clearly have used, but I feel like was a little bit too dark and a little bit too orange on me, but I would like to give it a shot and see if I can make it work. And then I remember I used to mix opal with this icy shade that was called icicle, appropriate, because opal is too deep for me. This was a little bit too icicle. And then I also remember liking this highlighter. I would mix them because I felt like these two maybe on their own were a little bit too deep for me, but I could make it work with that shade. I used to use this quite a bit and I have not in years. This is YouTube history for me. I cannot let this go. And a lot of these are going to be like that. And I'm sorry. Like this is another one that I'm just not sure if I can get rid of because these are fantastic products. Now, how often do I use it at this point? Not very. And we've got two cream products. I don't even know if they're any good anymore. I mean, I definitely got a lot of use out of them back in the day, but the sculpting powder is fantastic. These two highlighters, or you can use them as eyeshadows. I mean, they are so great and so bright. I mean, this is like an all-in-one palette. I used to love this palette. And I, I did actually reach into this a couple of times, even this past year. But the question is, do I use it enough? And is it even worth keeping because of just how old it is at this point? I don't even know if Kevin O'Quan still makes these contour books. This was volume two, Art of Sculpting and Defining. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is just, I was such a great palette. I think this needs to go into a basket of doom. And I think I need to test the cream products, see if they still work. And I think that's going to need to make my decision because I feel like this is one of those palettes where as long as I can still use every shade because I used to be able to, then I will keep it. But if these two products have gone off and just don't blend or apply to the face um, nicely anymore, then I might consider getting rid of this. I have this spotlight shade in a single, so either this palette is going to go or that single, depending on how things work here. I kind of wish I had this brighten shade separately because then it would have been easier, I think, for me to let go of this palette because I do love that. But yeah, this is going to go into a basket of doom for sure. Um, another one that... I am, I think, going to need to put into a basket of doom is this Tarte Park Avenue Princess. Does this have a name? It's just the Park Avenue Princess face palette. This was a gift from a subscriber and clearly I've used it. These are the sort of palettes I love, the where I can have my bronzer, blush, and highlighter all in one. So for that reason, I'd like to give it another chance. I don't remember being blown away by these products, but if this is solid enough where I can travel with it and it'll give me a full face in one compact then I might consider keeping it. So I would like to test this out some more. Speaking of, this is a recent acquisition with that purpose in mind. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Enchant Multitasking Baked Face Palette. These were getting really good reviews here on YouTube from everybody I watched. And a lot of people were recommending these palettes when like the VIB sales were happening because they would be an additional 30% off. I bought this not in this past sale, but I think a sale or two before that. This past sale, and I kind of wish I had snagged the deeper colored one because I loved the blush shades in that one. They were already, I think, discounted 50% off because it turns out they were phasing these out and then you would get an additional 30% off on top of that. So like you, you were getting these for like seven bucks and I missed it. I had it in my cart and then got distracted and by the time I went to check out, it was sold out. But I did already have this light version. So there were two of them. Um, this was the, I, I don't know if Enchant is like the, the name, the shade name, but basically this was the lighter version and it was the deeper version. I've only used this so far a couple of times and so far so good, but I'm still in the testing phase of this. So this is definitely staying. One that I think I can let go of. This was quite a um, well-loved palette. I think I had this in my project pan in 2020. Um, I know by year that I started my channel with here on YouTube and 
and I was panning that highlighter and as you can see I definitely got a lot of use um, from it. I loved this palette. In fact I wish Sonia Kashuk did not get rid of their makeup line. I think uh, the brand had lots of really great products at the time. This brand hasn't existed in years but it's just old. It's really old. That fantastic coral bright orange blush was just a little too bright for me because I am just so fair so I had to use a super light hand on pretty much both of these products and then the highlighter was the only one that I could like really go to town with if I wanted to but this palette in 2020 was pretty much exclusively what I used all summer long. This thing got a lot of use. I love the packaging. It is very sentimental to me because I used it so much during my first year here on YouTube, but I think it's time. I think it's time to part ways with this. It's served its purpose. It really has gone traveling with me before the pandemic and it, it's, it's seen a good share of life. So I think we're gonna let it go. All right, I got rid of one. Whew, wow, <laughs> that, that might be it. We're gonna have to see this is something I guess I should just be maybe in my blush uh, declutter, but because it's a duo, I threw it in here. This is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. I love this little thing. It is definitely super sparkly and not a shade that I think everybody can pull off. But considering how fair I am, that pink actually does work really nicely depending on kind of, you know, what I'm wearing, what makeup I've got on. I don't love the highlighter because it is way too glittery. So I usually just like put a little pinch of it on top. I mostly really love the blush um, regardless even if it's just the blush I like. This is so small. I'm definitely going to keep it. This is one that I was so disappointed in myself mostly about because I don't know if you guys remember, but Jouer had like the larger versions of these dual blushes that for a while were very hyped and I kept really wanting to try them and I think they were like 30 or $40 and I just didn't want to spend the money and then they came out with this holiday mini which was like maybe $20 or something and during one of the uh, Sephora sales or some such thing, I jumped on it because I thought, oh, perfect, the mini version. This will give me a chance to try the formula. I'm gonna love it. And I'll be honest, I've barely used this. I've maybe used this twice. And I remember absolutely nothing about it. I don't remember if I liked the formula or not. I think it was just okay. Which just goes to show sometimes if you really want a product, like just buy the actual product that you want. I have a feeling if I had the fancier, larger compact, I would have actually used it more. So for that reason, even though this pains me, cause like this is practically a brand new product that I don't even remember how I feel about, but I just don't see myself reaching for this. I think I just have way too much blush to be bothering with this. So I'm gonna let this one go. Um, one I'm not gonna let go of, even though it's old and Becca no longer exists is this afterglow sunset palette because this is a perfect example of loving the combination of all the face products in one palette and i'm sorry it is messy af as you can see because i actually use it a lot this was in my basket of doom because i thought well maybe it's too old and i don't need it anymore but i loved using it that month so it got to stay and i think i see myself continuing to use it maybe even hitting pan one day on at least one or two of these products. So definitely one that I'd like to keep. This was in a basket of doom this year too. And while I adore the packaging, I mean, I cannot tell you how much I love this packaging. I think it has held up so well. It still looks brand new, even though I've had this for years. I love the raised details. I'm a planty lady. So all of these cute little plants and butterflies and things, I adore this palette just like aesthetically. The problem I have with it is I love two out of the four shades and the other two do not work for me because they're just too deep for me. So I really like these middle shades. I can make both of these work as blush. This more as like a bronzy blush. This of course as just a blush. This is a really nice color on me being as fair as I am. It's 
just a very nice simple peachy pink but this golden hour and sunlight they just do not work on me they're just too deep and bronzy they just look crazy on me and i feel like because of that because i can only use two of the four shades it's why i never reach for this palette and as much as i want to keep it just for the packaging i think i need to pass this along to somebody that will actually get some use out of it and not just have this beautiful specimen sitting in her drawer i do have to be honest this one's hard because it's another like piece of youtube history for me from like the olden days but i think i need to let it go i'm torn about this i bought this last year and tj maxx before the whole morphe forma jacqueline drama and bankruptcy and all that and i'll be honest i really like these products i really do i'm still a highlighter girl even though i know a lot of people this past year got off that train so i love these blingy highlighters and they don't look too textured and they blend in really nice and the blush is a really nice color like nothing you know out of the ordinary but it's very lovely but i just don't know i just have so much i feel like this is this is gonna need to be a basket of doom item maybe i don't know let me know what you guys think i think for now i'm gonna put this into my basket of doom and if you have any advice or opinions on any of these products for me do let me know oh this okay so this is my basket of doom and this is my keep so we're gonna do that this thing i mean it is so bulky and it is so old but i just cannot seem to let it go mostly for the center highlighter i love that thing it is so beautiful it is so beautiful i love it i don't know if you guys can see but it's smooth and just absolutely stunning i haven't used the blushes in so long i don't even remember the last time i used these blushes and it seems so silly to keep this giant bulky thing just for that center shade but I think I'm gonna do it I think I'm still gonna keep this thing I know I know but I just can't help it I just can't help it all right this vintage by Jessica Liebeskind Liebeskind I don't know I got this in a subscription box this has survived my past one or two declutters here on my channel that I can link if you guys are curious because these are beautiful like when you swatch these these are beautiful but these are too dark for me to use on my skin tone and I keep thinking I'm gonna use them maybe as eyeshadows but I never do and it just sits there and every time I swatch it I ooh and ah over it and then I put it away until the next time I swatch and ooh and ah over it and this has been a vicious cycle of ooing and eyeing and never using it on my face so it's gotta go a blush palette that I'm not getting rid of is this hourglass lighting blush palette the ambient lighting blush palette and it has luminous flush incandescent electra and mood exposure absolutely adore this palette unfortunately don't use it enough i don't know why well i know why because i've got way too much makeup uh but yeah i absolutely need to make a point to use this so this is staying what am i gonna do about this Too faced sugar peach wet and dry face and eye palette i think i've only used one shade i can't remember which one this looks brand new this peach pearl so i don't feel like i've actually used it this peach pop is maybe that's the one i've used this is beautiful it's almost like a duochrome i think this is a basket of doom item i don't think i can just let it go because i haven't even used every shade in here it's a bit tacky in terms of packaging it still smells like peaches and i don't know i just have a feeling that the products are going to be good enough for me to keep because even though Too faced is a hit or miss brand for me and a lot of their stuff is aesthetically not really my jam their face products have always been really really good like blushes and things like that so i think i'm going to keep this i'm so confused okay wait this is basket of doom so it's going there why do i keep mixing up my piles all right since we're on the topic of Too faced this is the love flush long lasting 16 hour blush wardrobe they used to have these heart shaped blushes individually but when they first came out so this is old they also for the holidays came out with this little blush wardrobe these by now 
don't work as well as they used to and they seem to already not be like I think they're growing mold or something so even though I actually was going to keep it now that I'm looking at it I don't know what that white stuff is but I have a feeling it's mold so I think this has got to go oh that's so sad I was so gonna keep this and actually put it like into a project pan next year but I guess I missed that chance and i'm not sure i even want to like scrape it and sanitize it and put it on my face boo yeah it's this one love hangover which was one of my favorites that's growing mold here off to the side it looks like and this your love is king wow okay well there's that we're gonna declutter that one all right well it is what it is that's why i'm doing this um to remind myself to use things and to get rid of the things that have gone bad the cali contour by smashbox i had lasted over this for years and finally last year or earlier this year or last year i can't remember i bought this and um i loved using it when i first got it and lately i've forgotten about it so i need to start using it again it's definitely one of those all-in-one palettes that i can use and um great to travel with the only shade in here i can't use is this that's way too dark as a highlighter for me maybe i can try it as a blush but i don't really like those bronzier colors like shimmery colors as blush on me because it starts to just look like a very dark highlighter and like I don't know what I'm doing with makeup. This also is not like necessarily the perfect nude blush for me but I can make it work. I really love this one though. So basically these three products is what I use the most in here and I'm going to keep it around all right and then we've got this mac hyper real glow highlighter palette i don't know what the shades are in here i should look it up because i do have one single highlighter from mac that i really love um it's the extra dimension in i can't remember but yeah if any of these shades are similar or the same then maybe i can eventually let this palette go i really like these highlighters i think i need to try them again i haven't really used them in a while i need to see if they are still as nice on my skin now that I'm you know a little bit older every year my skin changes at this point and these might be a little bit too thick by now for me and not quite the highlighters that I prefer uh, as opposed to a few years ago yeah I need to test it so this is kind of like a basket of a doom situation and then the last palette I have is this melt oh I threw out the box I don't remember what it's called but this was part of the is it the monarcha collection the butterfly collection in any case this is a great blush palette i have quite a few friends here on youtube including colin from queer bones that love this palette the thing though is they are considerably deeper in skin tone than i am so for me i cannot really use every single shade in this palette like for example that that conmigo shade that's not going to work for me as either a bronzer or a blush even this Sonrisa shade is a little bit dark for me but I think I can make that work. Felice if I can make a work as a blush great as like a highlighter because I can see it's more shimmery that would be too dark. So I still need to test a few of these shades. I've used a couple of these shades but not everything and I need to see you know how often I'm actually going to be reaching for this before I decide whether it's going to stay in my collection or not. It is beautiful so it's definitely going to stay. All right I think that that is then basically it. We are getting rid of, unexpectedly, this love flush. So one, two, three, four, five products. And I'm not going to count the rest and all the rest. Um, I'll do an inventory sometime, hopefully in January of 2024. But yeah, five gone. I, I didn't know what to expect. I was worried I was not going to get rid of any. And I have quite a few that are on the chopping block that are going to go into the basket of doom because to be honest i have a feeling eventually the jacqueline palette might go and maybe even this tart one depending on how often i reach for it the kevin aqua i would love to keep but i'm not sure how the cream products are holding up in there this i have to test out because it's barely used and we'll see how i still like the highlighters everything else is staying either for practical or sentimental reasons i am still heartbroken over the love flush but it is what it is and I am grateful that you guys are here with me going on this exploration of my collection. 
and declutter journey. So yeah, if you like declutters and you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And other than that, I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy, take care of yourselves and those around you. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh,